back to the channel. I'm so glad you can all join again today. Today we're going to be going into another special complete series Blu-ray review. Now we're going to be doing today Sliders, the complete Blu-ray series review. And this one's a unique one. I've done some of these similarly in the past. And it's a unique one that I'm going to break down what I think about the quality of it, what the contents is, and kind of tell you if I think it's something worth upgrading from the DVDs to this, if you already own them, if you don't own the DVDs, what I think you should do with it. But this is Sliders the Complete series on Blu-ray. Now to get into this, it does come in one of these media books, which I've done a lot of these recently. It seems like some of these from other countries that I import, they're actually released in media books, and it seems to be a pretty popular thing. I do like the media books. I've gotten to where they've kind of grown on me because they all look like, and I'll show you here on the side, they all look like kind of like, I mean, it's a book. It's a spine of a book. And in case you don't notice on this one also, it's in English again, sliders, Universal's logos on it. It's got uh, Jerry O'Connell's picture on it, obviously on the slide. And then on the front, it does say sliders. Um, it does have some German writing underneath it. And this is another one of those. I will have the link down below in the description section below this video, as always on any of these releases. That way you don't have to go look for it in German because a lot of these are in German titles, French titles, Japanese, doesn't matter. I always put those links right below in the description section so it makes it easy for all of you to find it. Now, on this set, this is another unique one. This one was not a complete remaster. Now, I wanna to touch on that right away so that way you understand. A lot of these were not done complete remasters because they simply either weren't available and the way I understand sliders is the actual visual effects and special effects and the way it was filmed was technically, I guess, filmed onto video, which then you can only upgrade so much, which I understand as SD is the max that they have available. And there have been numerous DVD releases. So Mill Creek recently in the US released, I think it was 2015, released a set that was the DVD set. And Mill Creek sometimes is notorious for downgrading the quality of even their DVDs to shove as much onto a single DVD as possible. And that is the case with the slider set they released. They did shove more than they should have on each DVD. So it compressed and took down the DVD quality even a little bit more than what it should have been in the previous basically universal individual releases they released many years before that. So in that case, this is an upgrade over the Mill Creek DVDs. And I'll get into that, what I mean by that a little bit later on here. But this is an SD on Blu-ray release. What that means is they took the SD quality, slightly did some things to it to get it onto a Blu-ray and basically opened up the Blu-ray quality to let it breathe. And what I mean by that is, is instead of compressing the image to shove it onto a disc as much as they could fit on a disc, because it's a Blu-ray and they could put so much more on there without it having to compress it down like a DVD. They gave it enough room to breathe on the disc for the SD quality. So it's, it's an upgrade in that sense alone just because of some of the things they did versus what Mill Creek did when it compressed everything to shove it onto a DVD. So there's, there's some slight differences there. So before we get into the box set here a little bit more, I wanna cover something real quick with all of you. As always, please make sure to like this video, click the like button down below, give this video a thumbs up, Click the subscribe button right next to it. That way, any of these videos that come out, you're gonna know about them and the bell notification right next to it. That bell notification makes it so that way you get notified as I'm releasing new content. That way it actually comes up and notifies you so you don't miss out on any of these exciting releases. So make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button, and then the bell notification. And as always, I'll have the links for anything that I'm talking about in the description section right below this video. So if you wanna get any of this stuff, Always go down there, click the description section, and you can purchase it right through Amazon, right through there. And you can always follow me on my Facebook and my Instagram, which is the name of the channel, In Search of Physical Media. And I always release some exciting content on there. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you follow me on there because I've got different stuff that I do that's different than on the channel. I try to give some extra content during the weeks. That way there's some exciting stuff always coming out from the channel. And there's tons of stuff. We're growing and we're getting bigger and there's tons of stuff coming out. So make sure you follow me on there and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's dive right back into this now. So on the Sliders Media Book set here, now it does have a nice picture on it. I really liked the actual artwork they used on this Blu-ray set better than I liked any of the DVDs that were previously released. So I did like the artwork on here. And then on the back, it does say Sliders and it does have some German writing here. It includes all 88 episodes 
and it includes all five seasons. Now, the reason this is important, and I want to touch on this just for a second, the show ran from 1995 to 2000 for five seasons, but the show on streaming services, and this is where I've talked about this on the channel a lot, this is why I absolutely cannot stand streaming services, and maybe hate's a strong word, but I'll use it. I hate streaming services. I don't use any of them whatsoever. And maybe some of you think that's bad, but I, I collect everything physical. I don't, I don't use any streaming services, but that's the point of the channel, physical media. Here's why. It's because of censorship that's going on right now in across the US, streaming media, everything. So Sliders itself has been censored on streaming services. There is over two episodes that have been confirmed that are no longer and have never been available on streaming services. They've deleted them all together. They've never been uploaded. They're not on Netflix. They're not on Universal. They're not on Paramount. They deleted them. And it's really, really upsetting to me. My understanding is that I had several different people that explained it to me that they said that it was deleted because of they didn't like something about the episode. Whatever it is. They, they randomly chose something they thought they didn't like about the episode. I dislike that completely. If it was something that was made for the show and something like that, don't go in and then just take it out because of a political standpoint. Or And that seems to be a lot of it sometimes. It is Maybe it's political. They didn't like that it talked about something politically. Whatever the case is. And again, not trying to make things political on here. But I'm just saying, they've censored a lot of TV shows, um, movies that they've edited out, scenes, things like that, just because they didn't want it on there. And this is one of those shows that on streaming services has been edited down and actually has episodes completely missing. Not even the episode exists on it. They're completely gone. Two of the episodes that have been confirmed as missing were The Last Days and The Weaker Sex. Those two episodes are completely missing of sliders on streaming services. And the only thing you can find on there is, is some people said that it did have a like disclosure saying that the only way to watch these is to buy the original DVDs that were released by Universal. Those episodes are all completely included in this set. So you're not getting anything edited out of this set. If you own this Sliders SDM Blu-ray set, all of the original episodes are included in this. And that to me is a huge selling point because I do not like having something missing from a complete series set. I like it all to be included. And this is one of the only ways to own Sliders complete series included anymore. Some of the older Universal DVD sets that were individual seasons, which were huge when you had them all combined together. I'm going to set this down, but we had them all combined together. They were like yay big. Um, whereas this is just a small little media book. We're talking, it's about the size of a slightly thicker 4K case. That's it. And this is the entire series. So space that you save on the shelf for this is huge. And that's a big thing for me because as you all know with the amount I collect, having more room on a shelf to be able to basically have to put other sets and not take up a huge chunk of space, this does save a ton of space. So that was a huge selling point for me. So that's why I didn't keep my DVD sets when I upgraded to the Blu-ray set here. Now, other than the savings of space and what episodes are missing on the streaming, this does include the Dolby Digital 2.0 stereo, both in English and in German. So you have a choice of playing in English or in German, and it's all the original audio. There's no lag behind the audio like the streaming services have had with this show. They did not time up some of the audio on the streaming services. That's another big issue a lot of people have commented on, is that the streaming services audio with the video quality is the timings off slightly. So they'll talk but the voice will come out either a little bit behind or in front. And that's how that, that means whoever uploaded it to that streaming services had an error and didn't do it correctly. And so that is not the case in this set. All the audio synced up perfectly. And I tested this in all four of my different region, A, B, C, Blu-ray players, and this set is region free. So that's a big thing for this as well. Even though on the back here, it does say region B, on the back, it is not. It is a region unlocked, region free set. So if you do decide you wanna get this, you can add this and play this in any of your Blu-ray players, no problem, it is region free. And it is in the original four by three DVD format. So that hasn't changed, they haven't opened up the screen or anything like that, because they're taking the original, basically masters of what exists at the highest quality that exists of this, and then putting it onto Blu-ray. So you're gonna have where it's, Got the two black bars on the side and then the images in the center, which is just the way it's always been. There, there isn't anything that opens the frame up that makes it natural that way. I mean, there are some people that have said they've done it on their own where they've taken the DVD image, 
flatten it down and spread it out. And then it looks really awkward and just looks horrible. I would rather have it in the original four by three format and leave the image the way it was originally intended than what people have messed with it on their own. So this set is in the original format. They didn't mess with that at all. And all the episodes are unedited and the original way they were supposed to be. So these are not edited down like I talked about with a streaming service that not only are some episodes missing, which there's two that people are aware of are missing, but then on top of it, the episodes are not cut down where there are some episodes on streaming services where they said there's been a minute missing, two minutes missing. Heck, I heard one person say there was up to eight minutes missing on it. Now I don't have streaming services, so I can't go on there and watch every episode and tell you, yes, every episode this has this. And I don't really care about the streaming to be honest. I'm just pointing out some of the reasons why I absolutely hate streaming services. Because at any time somebody can come along and say, hey, you're not allowed to watch this content. I'm taking it away from you. And there's nothing you can do about it. You don't own that content. You can't say, well, I want to watch that. Doesn't matter. You don't own it. Streaming services, they own the content. They can decide what to do with it. They can edit it. And I don't like that. So huge fact of this set, especially because you can't even watch some of these episodes without having a set. This set has them all included. So we're going to go on through the rest of this box set now. Now, other than that, it does have a bunch of special features on it as well. Not only does it include the pilot episode as the movie, all uncut, all together as a movie, it also has it as the option of watching it as part one and part two. So you have the option of watching it two different ways, but it does have it as the whole movie, the pilot episode, if you want to watch it that way, which I did like that. It does have commentaries on it. It has the making of sliders, which is like a mini documentary and behind the scenes of making of sliders. It has outtakes, several different scenes of outtakes and different special features of outtakes throughout the series and then it also has the booklet inside here that goes through each episode title and then when the episodes appear so let's get into and open this up here a little bit and i'll show you what this looks like it is on if you can see this it's on plastic card plastic cases that are glued to the book so when you open it up here and i'll show you here you've got disc one which is seasons one and two which is kind of what i was talking about about compression on the dvds because these Blu-ray discs are dual layered and they have more than enough room for SD content, letting it breathe basically. And that's the term I'm gonna use throughout this because it's hard to explain. I get a lot of people that say, well, it's still SD content, yes, but it is better looking slightly than what the DVDs, especially Mill Creek's DVD release in the US at least, it does look better than those. But that's because they compress those so much. So season one and two is on disc one Blu-ray. Then behind that you have disc two, which is only season three. And that's because season one was a very, very short season. It was kind of one of those shows they were testing on Fox when it originally came out before it moved to the sci-fi channel. And so it was one of those shows that the first season's very short. So that's why easily season one and two fit on one Blu-ray disc. But then season three fits on disc two. Then you have this book and I really like these media books. And I know you probably have all heard me say this dozens of times before. But as a collector, I like anything that has a little extra like shizaz in it. And this is shizaz. So it's got in here sliders. And when you open up, it's glossy pages. And it's got little things that talk about. And some of it's in English. It does tell like original air date of when each episode aired. And that's in English. Then it talks about um, Stoffel 1, which is German for season 1, disc 1. And episode 1 is the pilot film. Then obviously... If you watch the pilot cut where you want it separated or you want it all together, then it goes into episode two, Summer of Love. And what I did like about this media book, again, it's a release that they know that a lot of people like myself in the U.S. or around the world that are in English speaking countries are going to want to import this. You know, if you live in England, you want to import this. They knew that people would be collecting this because of saving space and just because it's uncut. This is a big deal. But right next to the German titles, it has like, for example, pilot film, pilot. Then it has, you know, when it talks about the German word for that episode, I'm probably going to butcher this, so I'm just going to read it and butcher it anyways for the entertainment's sake, but Riech Dirk Das Zieglach, I might have gotten that right, is Summer of Love. But they put the English word right next to it, which I really appreciate, because then not only does it say episode two, and it has the original air date in English, but then it has the English title of the episode. So Summer of Love, that was the name of that episode so in the book it is really nice it includes every single and i'm not going to go through every page in here but it includes every single episode little pictures along the way of the show which i really like it tells you the english title the original air date and goes through that for every single episode of all five seasons so as i said this is this book includes tons of different pictures and it goes through all five seasons all 88 episodes 
And then at the end here, obviously you got another picture of the series later on. And this is obviously later on in the series after Jerry O'Connell left the show. Now, something you might all find interesting right now is they are in early talks of reviving this show. And that's something that I'm excited about because I really like sliders. And for those of you that don't know much about sliders, it's obviously a sci-fi drama, action adventure, horror. Um, I mean, honestly, it's kind of like, it's even got some campy episodes. I mean, it's got everything you can think of thrown into this. And it's kind of interesting I'm doing this review. And just recently I did Stargate SG-1. And a lot of people compare the two shows. And I'll agree with them in the sense of that the idea of it being a procedural, each week's a different planet, but this is not a different planet. This is all Earth. So Sliders is based on, Jerry O'Connell basically comes up with a device that lets him teleport and transport to different interdimensional through a wormhole vortex. When he does that and goes to these other worlds, he basically then is on Earth, just a different dimension of Earth. So instead of going to other planets like Stargate was, which is where people said, oh, they're a lot of like, eh, I don't think they're exactly alike because I feel like Sliders had a lot more comedy in it than Stargate SG-1 did. And Sliders had some straight up just romance episodes, some straight up just like horror episodes, sci-fi, adventure. Um, so it really drastically changed its content each week for you to watch. So I did like Sliders for a completely different reason than I like Stargate SG-1, but if you like Stargate SG-1 and you like sci-fi anyways, you're going to really like Sliders. And so if you haven't picked this one up or haven't seen the show, the show itself is really entertaining. In five seasons, it, it's got plenty of episodes that if you like horror, there's some horror episodes. If you like romance, there's some romance. And whether you're a guy or a gal, there's so much in this show that honestly, it's just so entertaining to watch. I really wish they would have done an HD remaster, but my understanding is Universal doesn't have any HD footage that they would be able to upgrade enough. Um, kind of like Babylon 5 originally was that they didn't think there was enough that they'd be able to upgrade. Well, now Babylon 5 is most likely getting a remaster that I've heard about. So Sliders, they said they don't think there's a large enough audience like there was with Babylon 5 because of the spinoff series and all the movies. So this is the best that I think we're going to get for now. And maybe in 10 years when it's a lot cheaper for them to remaster something, then they could. But by then, to be honest with you, I don't know if physical media, I mean, if we all support it, maybe then we'll get it in another country. But for right now, this is the best it is. And I wanted to own it because I always try to support, especially companies that are releasing things like this, because I want to make sure they know that I love this content and I want it to keep coming out unedited. I don't want them to edit down and me to get all these streaming services where stuff's missing. So... On this set, when you get to the last disc here, after you go through the booklet, you get obviously here disc three, which is season four, and then disc four, which is season five. So the entire series is on four dual layered Blu-ray discs. And I really like that. Small, compact. The disc artwork was really nice. And Universal's logo is on all of these because Universal actually got them the direct SD masters that were used for all of the DVDs, the best quality they had, for them to put on these Blu-rays. And when I say that, some episodes don't look that great, some episodes look better, but the colors overall, there's a little bit more colors in it. I know some of you don't like the word color saturation, but because it's a Blu-ray versus the DVD, and there's a difference in how they format things, there is a little bit more, more color depth maybe. Um, it's not drastic, no. And, and I tried to take some pictures of the DVD versus this, they didn't come out enough to explain. When you watch it, you can see it slightly, but that's about it. Um, the big benefit of this set is, is that everything's unedited in it. It includes the English and the German audio options. You can choose either one. Includes a bunch of special features. It's got the nice book. Space saving is huge on it. I love that it was space saving, so it took away a huge amount of area that I had that was saved for my DVD sets. Now it's all in one tiny case, and I love that. And I like the book. I like the media book. I like how glossy it is. And I liked having the slight upgrade. It's not going to be a huge remaster. It's not going to be a remastered upgrade like a lot of you always look for. But for those of you that are fans of sliders, this is the best we're going to get because of how badly they compress those DVDs. So in this case, this is the best quality that I've seen of this. And it is region free. So therefore, if you want to buy it and own it, I've never had any problems playing this on anything. I played this on my Xbox. I played this on my PS5. None of it had any issues playing it, and it all sounded and looked pretty decent. Now, 
review score for this set. To give you an idea on this one, I had to take into consideration that the DVDs I already owned and they existed. I had to take into consideration the space saving on this, that it was unedited, which means I didn't have to worry about, you know, obviously the streaming that you can't watch some of the episodes. So I did like that and I did like how they released it with the booklet that has all the episodes listed out and it's all in one small package. Taking that into consideration, this set's going to get a 7.4. Now, I like this set. Don't take it that I'm not saying I don't like it. It is recommended. I recommend getting the set. But I base it on TV shows that are on Blu-ray and the quality of those. So therefore, this gets a 7.4 because I wish it would have been a complete remaster. It's not a complete remaster. Looks better. And I'll have screenshots like I always do as I've been going along of what this set looks like. And it does look good, but again, I wish it would have been a full remaster. So the 7.4 is based on that it saved me space on my shelf. It's all on Blu-ray, which I would rather have because the discs don't scratch as easily. And those of us that are collectors, we always look for whatever upgrade we can get. It's not a huge, as huge as some of the, like even the Stargate SG-1 upgrade was way bigger of an upgrade than this was. But because it did save space, that's why it gets a 7.4. It does have all the episodes unedited and the English and German audio on it. And you can choose English easily from the menu. And I'll show you the menu up here. On the menu, it lets you play um, all the episodes which is the option down towards the bottom, which I think says Abe Spielen, if I remember correctly, that's play all. Or you can choose each episode individually. And at the bottom of that menu, you can see where it says you can choose either English or douche, which is German audio. So you can choose it right from the menu, play all episodes, and it plays all the way through it. And let me tell you, I liked the ability of not changing out the discs as much either. So when I calculated my score of this review for this set, of the 7.4 that's why it got some extra points because i like having it all in one box set that when i put a disc into i can watch a whole season on one disc i don't have to get up and change it so it just literally plays and maybe that's me being lazy but you know i got kids and a job and wife and everything else going on all the time that even that little bit of space saving i climb into bed or i'm sitting on the couch and i want to watch tv i put that disc in and it plays for forever and i love that so that was a big bonus on this as well as it's just little things that make the set to me unique and I'm glad I added it to my collection and didn't keep my DVDs. So you can play them all through there. You click your English option before you click either play all or what episode you want to watch and it'll just play through them in English. You don't have to change it again and it sounded perfect. Now let me know if you guys have liked this show. If you like sliders, if you like the show, I like it. I don't look at it as Stargate. It's a completely different type of series. It's more human in the sense of it's not about a military um, going on missions and adventures so much as they're trying to find their way home and each one has a Maybe personal story to each of the characters about they miss home or they find something in an interdimensional gate that they go through through the vortex and then arrive on another earth and they find something that they miss about earth their original earth that they were from and i thought it was a unique thing because they would take little things and change the stories of hey it looks like our earth and yeah it kind of seems like but there's something off or hey, everybody's missing on earth or the earth's about to explode or there, there's so many great storylines in this show and it's all contained in this set so if you like good drama action adventure sci-fi i suggest picking up the show i love the show because of that, I said, the 7.4 is combining all of that. I just wish there would have been an HD master that they could have made this look beautiful like they did with like the Mission Impossible. But it's not available. And from what Universal has said, when Mill Creek asked for it, when they were going to try to make a Blu-ray set, Universal responded, no, there wasn't one available. And, and they didn't have one that they could pass along. So my understanding is this is the best we're going to get for now. Let me know if you're excited about sliders. If this was one that surprised you about it, let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well, and then click the subscribe button and the bell notification next to it. I've got more exciting content always coming out. Let me know if this one surprised you, that you didn't know that sliders was available, because this was one of those that I was excited to get in because I wanted to see if it was even a slight upgrade over the DVD set I had, and it's a slight upgrade. Um, and let me know if you're going to pick this up. I'm curious if a lot of you are going to pick this set up. If you own it on DVD or you've been waiting for an HD master, um, I don't think we're going to get one of this show, especially because the streaming services, there's obviously none even available. And what is available is edited. And so because of that, I don't know if they're ever going to re-release it again. So this set I wanted to pick up while it's available on Blu-ray and that's why I picked it up. So let me know in the comments below if you're going to pick this one up. I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. So make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, 
Click the bell notification and the link if you want to get it, it's down in the description below. I tried to make this one a little bit shorter because it's not a complete remaster where I'm doing comparison shots between the two. So I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to the next time we get to spend together.